So we all need to log parent contacts. A spreadsheet is a great way to record who I contacted, when, and how. But what if we could just save a little time that the contact log does the contact? So alicekeeler.com slash contact log will allow you to log the content and then it sends the contact email out. So all in one swoop, you've logged it and you've sent it. Now your first step is to create a roster. So you're going to go to alicekeeler.com slash contact log and you're going to make a copy. Now once you make the copy, you're going to need to go to the student tab. I have a little bit of sample data in here that you're going to want to delete, but what you will notice is that I'm showing you that it looks up that when you put in the student ID number, that looks up the parent email addresses. So I'm going to go over here to the students tab, and on the students tab I have a sample roster. We're going to go ahead and delete that because you're going to want to put in your own roster. Now where it says student ID number, SID, it's just a reference number. It doesn't have to be their real student number. You can just do one, two, three, or you could put in their last name. It's just what is your unique lookup value. So when you look up that student, it pulls in their name, their email, and their parents' email. So you could even do one penny to Joe, and we have Joe Smith. I'm going to put in Joe Smith's email address, and then the parent email address, just making these up, and I can add phone number and, and then some other piece of information, but the student email, the P1 email, and the P2 email, they will automatically populate. So when I come over to the contacts page, I just put in for the student ID number what the con what the unique identifier is. It could be a single number, it could be a combination of their name. So since I do multiple periods, I'm going to do it by first period. I've got Mac, so I have Mac, and email, and parent email. And so you could also just do five, six, seven. It doesn't really matter so long as each student has a different unique identifier. And come back to the contacts page. You do one Mac. It's going to look them up. It's going to put me the student's name. And it will automatically fill in the parent's email addresses. And I also had a to Joe. So we'll put to Joe. You'll see it automatically puts in name and email addresses. I don't have to look those up. Let me delete those. So then I'm going to be able to put in the date. So I'll say 10, 9, and 10, 9, and 10, 9. And I am going to send a message to all of these. And you can put the reasons or the topics here on this tab. And then you contacted parents, student, whatever. You can put a comment. whatever you want the comments to be, and then the ones that are checked, you're going to go up here to the menu that says send email. Got to authorize the add-on first. This is a one-time situation. I'm going to keep reusing the spreadsheet over and over again, so that'll be nice. Allow. And then you go ahead and send. So what that's going to do is for any emails that are checked, it's going to send an email. So I'm going to say no homework completed today. Okay, and do I have a generic message to include? We had a big project due today. It was not completed by your child. Yes. So the emails are sent. It unchecks it because those are completed. And over here in the mass comment for the ones that I sent the email to, it puts what that mass comment was. And then it highlights the emails it was successfully able to send an email to. If I go check my sent mail, 
you can see that I sent concerning the student that didn't have their homework completed today and it's going to give the message with the generic message in there along with the message that I had made on the spreadsheet.